Hello and welcome to the showcase video of Fog of War system that you can purchase from Unreal Marketplace. The link will be in the video description. The first thing that you have to do is install the plugin and make sure it is turned on. So go to Edit Plugins folder and make sure the Agora Fog of War system is enabled. If it's not, enable it and restart the editor. Once that is done, go to Edit Project Settings and it is very important that you define a collision setting for the fog of war so let's go to collision add a new object channel call it fog of war or any name you like and make sure it is very important that you make sure the default response is set to ignore press accept and then go to physics setting and make sure support uv from hit results is turned on and it will prompt you to restart the editor so let's restart it now the editor is now restarted and let's go to content browser, go to plugins, Agora Fog of War content, Fog of War demo content, and let's open the demo level. Now this folder right here, once you install from marketplace, you have to make sure go to settings and enable show engine content and show plugin content. Uh, both of them are enabled and this folder, this Agora Fog of War content folder will be available in engine plugins folder. Now once the demo level is up let's press play and uh, and let's see here is the fog of war in action so let's take a moment to describe what's happening here this actor right here is the static one and if you open the blueprint you can see the blueprint setup right here upon begin play we add the fog of war to this actor we set the fog radius by default, which is set to 1000 centimeters. And then we make sure the fog is static and then we activate it. So what this means is that every tick, this will not update and this will only happen one frame and that's it. This will not update every frame. So it gives you performance improvements. Now this one right here, think of this as your uh, RTS unit that you, when you right click it moves there and here from point A to point B. So when you open this blueprint, you can see that we have added the focal four component and we set the radius to 200 by default, and then we activate it. You can see that we are not setting the fog of war component as static because we need this to update every time the actor moves. Now, this one right here is excluded from fog of war. And this can be toggled at runtime too. In a typical RTS game, think of this as some kind of quest item or an objective where the player has to go. If we open it, we can see this is a bouncing actor. And at begin play, we, we, we make sure that this is rendered outside of Fog of War. And these actors, this one, adds the Fog of War component at runtime. So if we duplicate this, once it overlaps this actor right here, it will be added to Fog of War. And when this when this wandering cube goes away, when it goes out of this overlap, it will hide itself. Let's see. As you can see, when the cube overlapped that actor, it became visible. And when it goes out of the overlap, it hides itself. Let's see how, how this is set up. If we open it, we can see that upon overlap, it hides itself, it, it, it becomes available, and then it creates a Fogo 4 component, adds a default radius of 1000, make sure, makes sure this is static, or you can toggle it at runtime, and then activates it. And when the cube ends overlapping, it will start a timer to deactivate the fog and then hide the actor itself. Now this fog of war system is easy to use because all of these functions are static functions means you can call it anywhere you want and just pass the parameters as they are required. Thank you for watching.